All right, first is from Anita Heavily, and she asks, why at some garage sales do you pay by the item and others you make a pile and get a bundle price? It's Monday morning and I have 11 eBay orders to ship out. Let's get to work. My first two things I already pulled from my storage unit. These are some old yearbooks from the 60s. I had these listed, I think, for like $25 or best offer. Somebody sent me an offer for $20 each plus shipping and I accepted. Next is a stapler. I got a big box of staplers at a garage sale for, I think it was like $20. And I think there was almost 20 staplers in there. And they were all electric staplers. Some of them more valuable than others. And this one just sold. I gotta get the power cord out of there too. Uh, but it is a uh, Swingline Optima 20. It sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Next is down here an F5. Some more comic books. And I think this is the last of the comic books I got from that garage sale lot. I paid $15 for all of them and there was about 80 comics or so and with this sale I think it brings me over the $100 mark. These sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Sold a knife over here in A4. This is an Alaskan hunter knife that sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Alright, looks like I was wrong. There is one more lot of comics that sold and I think this officially sells me out of comics. Uh, these sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Okay, next sale is a pretty strange one. These are vintage German romance novels. I pulled these out of the storage units that I just recently bought. And I decided to do a lot of them. And these sold for $39.99 plus shipping. Next is down to C5. It is a Hunter Green bobblehead. I had two or three of these and they're slowly selling. I think I've sold one or two so far. This one sold for $11.99 plus shipping. All right, now we're going up to C1. This is a little Olympus recorder. These actually do pretty well. So in, I find them a lot and they're always really cheap. This one I got at a garage sale for a dollar. It sold for $21.99 free shipping. Next is a baseball glove. This is a Wilson A800 first base mitt. Picked this up for $5 at a garage sale a couple weeks ago. It sold for $39.99 plus shipping. All right, we're going over to A2 next. And I sold a couple things out of here. First is this Mizuno catcher's mitt. I got this at a garage sale, part of a bundle deal, so I probably got 4 or $5 into it. It sold for $19.99 plus shipping. And next are these two Batman models. I got these in actually that same bundle deal with that glove. I think I've probably got 4 or 5 each into these. I thought they were going to be worth more. They, they weren't worth a whole lot. I decided to do them as a pair, and they sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Those Batman models are going out to viewer named Roger. Roger, thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. It's Tuesday morning, and I've got 15 eBay orders to ship out. First is this De Marini bat. I just picked this up a week or two ago at a garage sale. I paid $5 for it and sold for $34.99 plus shipping. Next is over here in D3. I think there might actually be a couple things in here that sold, so we're just gonna bring the whole bin over. Um, I know I sold this bobblehead. This is a Todd Frazier bobblehead I just got at a garage sale last weekend. It was part of a bundle deal. I probably got 15 bucks into it. It sold for $49.99 plus shipping. Sold this Logitech webcam. This is the C920 model. Picked it up for $5 and I'd say about a year ago, this was maybe a $30 or $40 webcam, but since everybody's been working at home because of the pandemic, the uh, market for these has gone way up. This sold for $84.99 free shipping. All right, we're also pulling out these DVDs. This is Upstairs, Downstairs, the complete series. Not in great shape. It's kind of like some tape around the boxes and stuff, and some of the discs had some scratches. So couldn't sell it for huge money, but it did sell for $19.99 plus shipping. And last thing we're pulling out of here is some Upper Deck Basketball Factory sets. These are from $91.92. Pick these up at a garage sale, and again, they were part of a bulk deal. I think I've got about $12.50 or so into each one, and each one sold for $19.99 plus shipping. And that same buyer bought another box of cards right down here that I also picked up at that sale. Um, also, Upper Deck. I got about $12.50 into this box. And it sold for $27.99 plus shipping. All right, we're pulling out the other cards that I picked up at that sale. I'm in the same bin here. Uh, two boxes of 92-93 Fleer. 
These have the Shaquille O'Neal rookie card in them, uh, so they've got some pretty good value. I've also got about twelve fifty into each of these, and each box sold for fifty nine ninety nine plus shipping. One of these boxes is going out to a viewer named Holden, and the other one is going out to my buddy Kevin, the Tennessee picker. So, guys, thank you both so much for the support, and I hope you guys pull some shacks out of these boxes. If you guys aren't already subscribed to Kevin, the Tennessee picker, I highly recommend checking out his channel. I will put a link down below in the description. All right, next thing we're pulling are some roller skates. Uh, here they are. I picked these up last weekend at a garage sale, and I'd never seen this brand before. Douglas Snyder. Uh, that's who made the chassis, and then the boot themselves is by this company, Lytle, and then it also says Hyde right there. So um, I think those are two different companies that combined to make this boot. I'm not really sure, but they are pretty rare. At the time that I bought them, I didn't see that this was cracked. This whole chassis down here was cracked and damaged, actually in a couple different spots. So I made sure I disclosed that in the listing, and I think they would have sold for more if they were in better condition. I've got about 15 bucks into them. I listed them for $150, your best offer. Someone sent me a best offer of $130 plus shipping, and I accepted it. All right, next is down here in F6. I sold a Sony camcorder. Picked this up last weekend at the garage sale for 10 bucks. It sold for $39.99 plus shipping. Next, we're going over here to B5. Pulling out some Fox figurines. I think I've already bubble wrapped them because I didn't want them to get broken in the tote there. I've got like a dollar or two into these. I had them for quite some time and they didn't really sell, so I lowered the price. Uh, the three just sold for $12.99 plus shipping. All right, coming back over here to D5. Forgot to pull one other thing out. I sold these nine packs of Fleer Ultra cards. I got these at that same sale, paid them five bucks for these, and they sold for $17.99 plus shipping. Those are also going out to a viewer. Viewer named Joey bought those. He says, been watching your videos for a long time. You have a great family. Love your channel. Good luck, Joey from Indy. Joey, thank you for the kind words, and I also hope he pulls some shacks out of those packs. All right, next is a sport coat down here in A5. I've had this for quite some time. This is part of a big bulk buy I made. Gosh, I feel like it's been nine months ago. It's Banana Republic, and it sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Okay, next is a Hot Wheels toy. This is Monster Jam Maximum Destruction Battle. I saw this at a garage sale, and I walked past it at first, and I didn't I didn't get it, and I, I looked it up later and went back and got it. I was walking to the car, and I was like, oh, I better go back and get this. I paid $5 for it. It sold for $29.99 plus shipping. All right, last thing we're pulling is in C2. This is a Dave Ramsey Financial Peace University kit. I've done really well selling these over the years. Not huge money, but they're good sellers. Paid $5 for it and it sold for $24.99 free shipping. I'm back at my antique mall today. I noticed that I had sold a few things. They actually have a website where dealers can log in and it shows you everything you sell, how much it sells for. So that really helps me so that when I come back, I know exactly what I got to bring to fill up the space. So I sold a big kitchen cabinet. Um, I sold a big four drawer, like cash register thing. Sold a number of things actually. Sold some vinyl, sold some things off the walls. So it's a little bit disarrayed from what it was a few days ago. So I want to fill it back up and organize it a little bit. Brought some new records in the booth, maybe like 15 or so. And I've got a lot more back at the warehouse that I just need to put in sleeves and price. So I gotta get on that this week because records are definitely selling quickly. And I brought this guy. I saw this in a garage sale ad, so I messaged the people right away asking if they still had it, and they did. So I went and picked it up. I paid 25 bucks for it, but I really like him because I think he will hopefully draw some people into the booth. All right, here's the rest of what I'm bringing in today. Got this yellow card at a garage sale. Maybe like two weeks ago, I only paid five bucks for it. And I think I'll price it around 30 or 40. Got a box of like bobbleheads and starting lineup figures. I ended up putting like half of them on eBay and half of them I'm gonna put in the booth. There's, there were so many, I didn't wanna flood it. Let's see, some more bobbleheads, Ken Griffey stuff, a couple books. Here's this uh, Eagle wall plaque thing I got for a dollar. I thought that was pretty neat. Pulled this chair out of the storage units that I just bought. Looks like the guy had it at the Ohio Valley Antique Mall at a price of $375. So obviously it didn't sell. So I'll be pricing it cheaper than that. Hopefully move it, but it is a really nice chair. 
And I got some artwork, and this is a um, like a magazine book rack that my wife found at a garage sale for five bucks. And I'm just gonna keep it as a display for books and just different things that fit in there. Back home from the warehouse, the weather is gorgeous. Just sitting out here on the back deck, and I think it would be a good time to answer some viewer questions. All right, first is from Anita Havilay, and she asks, why at some garage sales do you pay by the item and others you make a pile and get a bundle price? This is a very good question. Uh, so my strategy normally is to, when I walk up to the sale and I can see that there's a number of things that I'm gonna want, I try to ask them right away, like, hey, if I make a pile of stuff, can you work with me on price? Uh, but more often than not, there's only two or three things that I want. And at most sales, people just price stuff so cheap anyways that it's really just not worth you know, haggling on the price. Uh, but yeah, anytime I can get multiple things, like it just makes for an easier negotiation versus just trying to get them to come down on one thing. So it's it's case by case, obviously. Um, but yeah, always try to bundle whenever you can. Next is from Art Cat Show. Hey, do you click your GoPro on and off after every house? I do. Every single garage sale I go to, I wear my backpack with my GoPro clipped onto the strap and I go to a lot of garage sales. <laughs> I probably only show maybe like a third of the garage sales I go to in my videos because a lot of them are just boring. Like there's nothing to look at, nothing really interesting happens. So um, don't really think it's worth showing you guys. I don't think you guys want to watch, you know, an hour long video of a bunch of boring garage sales. Okay, next is from Marie Caswell. She says, hi, John, your new booth looks awesome. Nice sign. The other booth looks like it would be fun to shop too. Do you ever take sporting equipment to plate again or just sell it on eBay? I do sometimes take stuff to uh, plate again sports. It's usually like the more awkward stuff that I don't want to mess with. Like I pick up a good amount of Wavemaster punching bags. Um, they're the ones that you put water in the base and those do pretty well. Obviously they'd be a pain to ship and they'd be super expensive so there's, it's just not worth the trouble. Golf clubs sometimes I'll take to plate again sports. Um, if I get a set of irons I might just take it to plate again sports because the amount of time it'll take to take good pictures of them and then pack them up and ship them when it's time to ship them it might not be worth it but if i get an individual golf club i don't mind going ahead and listing it on ebay it's not too much work to ship uh same with bats and gloves like i've been trying to do more ebay with that just because i'll get a lot more money for it but i've sold tons and tons of stuff to play against sports over the years and if you guys have one in your area, I highly recommend giving them a call or just going in and talking to the owner, ask them what kind of stuff they buy, what kind of stuff they don't buy. And that could be a totally new revenue stream for you because sporting goods are pretty easily found and readily available at garage sales. All right, next is from Johnny. He asks, how do your antique market booths work? There's not an attendant. They just call you to make a deal on the items. So the way it works is, I have everything priced in my booth, and they do have uh, usually one or two people working it at all times, and they've got cameras set up everywhere, so if somebody tries to steal something, they're gonna get caught. They only call if somebody like is wanting a big discount on something, but I've never had any, you know, they've never called me about anything, and I don't think they've really discounted any of my stuff, but it, it's kind of an ideal situation. You know, I pay them the rent and the commission. I've got one booth that's 175 a month, and then another booth that's $210 a month, and then also 7% commission on top of that. Um, and before they shut down, my one booth was doing about $700 a month in sales. Um, so it's pretty profitable. So hopefully this new booth is doing about the same. All right, two more questions about the antique booth that kind of coincide with that last one. This is from Seville Weavington. How do you lock up the booth when you leave? And uh, this one is from 446-3013. You stand there all day and wait for customers. So yeah, I don't have to do any of that. I don't wait for the customers, I don't have to lock up, nothing like that. Um, they're just open their hours that they have and then they hire the employees to work in. So, pretty great situation. It's Wednesday afternoon and I have 16 eBay orders to ship out. First two things I went ahead and pulled from my storage unit. Sold another yearbook. Um, this is 1964 Lloyd High School. I had this listed for like 25 or best offer. Somebody sent me an offer of $20 plus shipping and I accepted. Next is this diecast car, Car of Tomorrow. This sold for $22.99 plus shipping, and the buyer bought another one too. Down here, D6 is a Kyle Busch autograph version. Uh, this one right here, yeah, Kellogg's number five autograph. This sold for $24.99 plus shipping. 
All right, next we're going back to F3. These are the rest of the German romance novels that I have. I sold uh, a different lot of these a few days ago. I had this lot listed for like $40 or best offer. Somebody sent an offer of $30 plus shipping and I accepted. Next is an A2. This is also another best offer. Actually, there's a couple things out of here that sold, so I'm gonna pull them both out. First is this artwork, A Day at the Office. Took a best offer of $20 plus shipping on that. And this is going out to a viewer named Laura. Laura, thank you for the business. I really hope you like this. And the other thing I pulled out of there is this 20 Questions board game sealed in the plastic. I got this at a garage sale two weeks ago, I think it was. I paid $2 for it. It sold for $19.99 plus shipping. All right, sold something else out of F3. This is an HP calculator. I'm actually gonna open this up and show you guys. It had the hard shell case and everything. It had the soft case too, and I decided to sell it separately. Um, the leather case by itself brought 50 bucks, and this kind of works intermittently. I plugged it in, uh, tested it out, and I don't know if there's like a connection loose somewhere, but it would kind of like flash on and off, but it did work. So I made sure I disclosed all that in the listing, and it still sold for $79.99. Plus shipping. All right, next is right in here. This is an iPod Nano. I picked this up at a garage sale for $10 and it sold for $24.99 free shipping. All right, next order has two items in it. First is here in D2. This is a golf hat. This is part of a bulk buy, so I think I've got less than a dollar into it. That sold for $7.99 plus shipping. And then next is back here in F7. It's a Hot Wheel car. One of the last ones I got left from that big lot that I bought. This is the Power Plower. This sold for $15.99 plus shipping. Both of those are going out to viewer named Karen. Karen, thank you so much for your support. I appreciate it. Next down here in B5. This is a Ralph Lauren miniature tote bag. Kind of like a travel thing for toiletries and stuff. We've got a dollar into this. It sold for $11.99 free shipping. And this is going out to viewer named Rodney. Thank you, Rodney. All right, one more viewer sale over here. This is a big lot of patches. There's actually two cases here. I'll pull this rubber band off and show you guys. Quite a bit of them, and I don't know too much about patches, so I decided to do an auction on these. I did the auction starting at $19.99 plus shipping. It did get one bid, and it sold to a viewer. Viewer named Zach bought those patches. Zach, thank you so much for the business. I really hope you like those patches. All right, we're pulling something else out of E1. This is a proactive pour cleansing brush. Got this at a garage sale for a dollar. It sold for $24.99 free shipping. Pulling a bobblehead from C5. Hunter Green, I think this is the last of the ones that I have left. I've only got a couple dollars into these. This sold for $11.99 plus shipping. Next are some video games down here in D6. I sold Dark Souls 3. That sold for $12.99 free shipping. And then I sold these four Xbox One games for $17.99 plus shipping and I've got $5 total into those. Okay, last thing we're pulling today is in C1. This is a wood Cutco knife block, not in the best condition. I actually pulled this from my storage units that I just bought, and it sold for $39.99 plus shipping. It's Thursday morning, I'm back from the garage sales, and I've got about 10 eBay orders to ship out. First is an E1. I actually sold a couple things out of that bend. First is this Garmin uh, GPS. A lot of people are using these for geocaching. I paid five bucks for this at a yard sale. It sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Next is this Ken Griffey Jr. McFarlane figure. I got a whole big Ken Griffey Jr. collection at a garage sale that I paid 50 bucks for everything. This one sold for $11.99 plus shipping. Next is down here in C5. It is a vintage stomper. It's right here on top. Uh, this is a Ford F100. This was in one of the bags of like Hot Wheels and little cars that I got at a garage sale, I want to say like two or three weeks ago, paid $9 for all the cars and I saw this one and decided to sell it separately. I was really surprised at what it was worth. This sold for $39.99 free shipping. This is the first Stomper car I've ever sold, but I will definitely be keeping an eye out for them now. All right, next is right up here. This is an Auric Orbiter floor scrubber i got this uh at a garage sale two weeks ago i paid 40 bucks for it and i listed it for 140 plus shipping somebody messaged me in maine and said how about 160 dollars free shipping and i said yeah that's fine so i went ahead and did that next is back here in f6 this is a watch that i got at a garage sale I paid 10 bucks for it it needed a new battery so i went and bought a new battery for it that cost like two dollars or something like that and it worked great Never heard of the brand. It was Sunto Core, S-U-U-N-T-O. I listed this for, I want to say like 70 or 80 or best offer or something like that. 
Somebody sent me an offer of $60 free shipping and I accepted. All right, in that same bin, we've got this Simpsons Chia Homer. I paid $2 for this. That's new in the plastic and not worth a ton. It sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Next is some CDs right up here in this bin. Move this banana box topper out of the way. This is a mix of alternative rock. Um, it's like some Van Halen, Duran Duran, all kinds of stuff in here. And anytime I lot CDs like this uh, by the category, specifically rock and alternative, they seem to do okay. I got all these at a garage sale. I want to say I might have $5 into them. And they sold for $39.99 free shipping. And they're going to go media mail. So they'll probably end up costing $5, $6 to ship. Next is a hat down here in A5. This is... This was with a bundle of hats that I got at a garage sale. I think I've got a little over a dollar into it. It is Ultimate Vodka and kind of has a distressed look to it that's not used. That's just how it was made. This sold for $8.99 plus shipping. All right, the buyer who got the hat got a couple other things too. They bought those cars I was just telling you about that I picked up. I made a lot of 36 vintage cars. Pretty much all 70s and 80s, Hot Wheels, Matchbox. There were some other names I'd never heard of. These sold for $24.99 plus shipping. And then one more item here in C3. This is a Fenton plate. This sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Same buyer bought all three of these, so I will combine shipping into one box and refund them the difference. And those are all going out to viewer named Caleb. Caleb, thank you so much for the business. I hope you like all that stuff. All right, one last thing we're pulling. This is a Bose speaker cable wire. Um, I had a Bose machine that didn't work, but had all the cables and stuff. So I decided to part it up and they've been selling pretty well. This sold for $14.99 free shipping. Hey guys, once again, the weather is really nice. Kind of overcast, but the temperature is great. So I'm out here on my deck enjoying a nice cold beverage and it is time to give away a GoPro. If you guys didn't see my video last week, I got a GoPro 3 shipped back to me that I gave away on my channel over a year ago. A guy named Lucas won it back then. Uh, he has a YouTube channel called ONL Flips, and he's still making videos very similar to mine. He goes out, resells, goes to garage sales. I've watched his channel, I really enjoy it. You guys probably will too, so I'll go ahead and put a link down below in the description, but, but this giveaway is from him. He's the one that wanted to give it away again because he got a new GoPro, and I had you guys leave a comment on that video last week if you wanted to win. So we're gonna pull up that video and pick a winner. All right, here's the video. I apologize if there's some, I think there's like some shading from this umbrella on my screen. So hopefully you guys can see my screen okay. Look at this, 1,186 comments, that's crazy. All right, let's copy this link. Let's open up this random comment picker if the page wants to load. All right, let's enter the URL. Get YouTube comments. All right, start raffle and pick random winner. Who's it gonna be? The winner is Eugene Robinson. If I win the GoPro, I can become a pro like you. Eugene, you are the winner. Send me your information. My email is down below in the description. And if you start a YouTube channel, I would love to see it. I'd love to see how that GoPro lives on. Thank you everyone for participating. And Eugene, can't wait to ship this thing out to you. It's Friday afternoon. I got a handful of eBay orders to ship out and I'm starting with this stack of games. I got these yesterday at a garage sale and I went ahead and listed all of them last night and they all sold. Uh, let's see here. First is Metroid for the Wii. This guy right here, uh, that's all for $11.99 free shipping. And that same buyer bought another game. Uh, Wii U Game Party, new in the plastic, sold for $8.49 free shipping. Sold Wii Sports Resort for $22.99 free shipping. And by the way, I have a dollar each out of these games. Sold Lego Marvel uh, Wii U, new in the plastic, for $8.49 free shipping. And that game is going out to viewer named Sean. Sean says, thanks, Sean. Keep up the good work. Glad to have garage sales back. I am glad to have garage sales back too, Sean. Thank you so much for the support. All right, next is Mario Party 8. Uh, just the disc that sold for $19.99 free shipping. And that buyer bought one other one, I thought. Oh, that's also going to Sean. Yeah, so Sean bought both of those. Thanks, Sean. Okay, and then one buyer got Metroid Prime and Gun. Uh, these two sold for $38.98 free shipping. Well, I was mistaken. I guess these two haven't sold yet, but 
They are listed. But yeah, these sold super quick after I listed them. All right, moving on from the video games. Next thing is up here in E1. I'm actually pulling two things out of that bin. First is this Caddy Woodlawn book. I picked this up for 50 cents at a garage sale. I took a best offer of $11 plus shipping. Next is this G.I. Joe Cobra toy. I picked this up, I think I paid $3 for it. And the buyer got one other piece too. I need C5. They got this starting lineup, King Griffey Jr. and Senior figure. These two sold for $19.98 plus shipping. Your name Christina bought these. She has bought a lot of stuff for me in the past. So Christina, I just want you to know that I really appreciate all your support and I hope you like both of these. All right, last thing I'm pulling is a B3. I actually sold one of these the other day. This is a Bose speaker cable and I think this is my last one. This sold for $14.99 free shipping. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.